tips. Killing 17 year old Jordan Davis went before a judge this morning for a hearing as the teen's parents sat in inside the courtroom. Michael Dunn is charged with first degree murder, attempted murder, and shooting into an occupied vehicle. They say the shooting was the result of a dispute of wild music. Today, we learned that Jacksonville State Attorney Angela Curry will try the case herself. Of course, Haley Winslow was in court for the hearing. She is joining us now live from outside the courthouse. Haley? Rob, Jordan Davis's parents just met with a publicist from another national magazine. They didn't want to say which one just yet, but it's just an example of another way Jordan's life and death are getting attention across the country. I think with his death, he has become even more alive to us, even more alive than we ever imagined. Jordan Davis's parents sat in open court. At one point, the man accused of killing their son turned in their direction, but the teen's mom says she couldn't look at him. Because I truly believe that he has no remorse, and I truly believe that he believes he has all the right to do what he did. And I can't look at him. Michael Dunn says he was defending himself, and his attorney has said it will be a stand your ground case. That's what I think all the media wants to know. That's what we as a family want to know. That's what he's going to plead, and we can go from there. So far, Dunn's attorney has not filed a petition, but I judge for a month to review discovery material he recently received and take depositions with witnesses at the Gate gas station that night. He's also requested two documents. One is a list of police officers who responded. The second document that the court has to order for the defense and that we offer to assist with is a list from Gate Petroleum of any witnesses or potential customers who could have been witnesses that were within that two hour window. Davis's parents want to make sure their 17 year old's life has meaning and creates a positive change in honor of Jordan and all victims affected by gun violence. And we will do whatever is within our power and our means to help all victims and to help those that will become victims. It's not just about Jordan. It's bigger than all of us. I contacted Michael Dunn's attorney several times today to try to talk about his client's case, but I still haven't heard back. Dunn is scheduled to be back in court on March 19th. Reporting live at the courthouse, Haley Winslow, Channel 4, The Local Station.